everybody knows what does heat do? Heat rises. So you got the heat that rises going up. It's all up in this area above you. All your cool air is around here. So yeah, you, your, your bottom portion of you may be nice and comfy because it's getting cooled off. But it ain't doing nothing for your head, your shoulders, or none of that area. So that is one issue that Kubota needs to work on is getting some vents in the top. I've seen plenty of brands that have them in the steering column and in the roof. Uh, and they need to fix that. Uh, and again, it is not just Kubota. I know Case does it too. Case tractors that I've looked at over the years, they have like, uh, for instance, the farm on the 75A, I think. If I'm not wrong, the 115A that I demoed had the um, vents, all the vents were in the front. Uh, I can't think back to that, and I don't have an inside video. Yeah, I do. I do, I'd have to look, because I do have an inside video where I filmed inside while I was demoing that tractor. I was testing the field with it. So I'd have to look and see, but I'm almost certain that model, the 115A, had the vents all up here and none in the roof. Uh, and I know some of the C's, like the 75C and on up, some of those have uh, the vents are only in the column. And I know, yeah, you blow the air, put it on four, or ever how high it goes, and you turn the vents up, yeah, you're going to get cool. But I don't like to do that. I don't like to blast the AC. I don't run the AC in my truck. It's 100 degrees outside. I don't run the AC in it. it. Ain't like it don't work. I just don't use it because it's part of making you used to the outdoor environment. So. Again, I don't use it. So, but you know, I don't know why they won't take and put at least two or three of the vents up top. That would help so much. They just put a few up there. That would take care of the problem and help cool you up top and help with that problem of heat rising into the top of the cab. So, Boda really needs to, to look at that with their tractors. Like I said, everything else is great. Not a, not a problem. Uh, other than, well, I reckon you could go on deeper and say, you know, Kubota, John Deere, Case, need to step up their game some because you've got the companies of TYM, Coyote, uh, what's the other ones that are coming out? Do it for some of those companies there are taking a lot of business from John Deere, Case Coyote, or excuse me, Case in New Holland, McCall, and Kubota because of some of the features that are coming on those tractors. You're going to get certain things on your Kubotas and your case and that type of thing. Some of the extras that you might like, like a button or a lever to, to raise your 3.8. I think John Deere, well, John Deere and Case and those do have some of that now. But, you know, there for a while they didn't have some of these other tractor companies that come out started producing tractors. They came straight out with TYM, come straight out putting some controls back there. Coyote, come putting some control back there to control your three-point hitch when you're in the back hooking up an implement. So, you know, they are coming around, but some of those things are additional costs as well with some of those tractor companies when you buy them, whereas with Coyote, TYM, some of those companies, it's added already into the cost, this standard equipment with some of those tractors. So, you know, uh, those companies are gonna have to step up their game some over the years. They're gonna, they're gonna stay in the market of producing.
Deuce is known. And of course, if you know, John Deere has really stuck their foot, per se, in their mouth with something I heard today or saw on YouTube. Uh, I'm not going to go into that. Uh, but they you know, might hurt their business big time. A lot of loyal John Deere customers out there that probably will not like that info once it does they do see it if they hadn't already saw it uh, you know gotta be careful especially when you're out there producing something uh, rural america uses on a daily basis and trying to keep that customer base you got to be careful with your worldly views just to say that so. Like I said, some of these companies have been out there for a long time. They're going to have to start stepping up the game a little bit more uh, with their lineup of equipment, the standard features that you get on that equipment. Uh, you know, you look at the 7040, you've got the eight speed transmission, I've got two sets of remotes, most riders. Uh, two sets of remotes are standard. You only get one set of remotes. Um, and that's about it. You know, it's standard power takeoff, standard three-point gauge, that type of stuff. And that's about it. So, uh, and some of the uh, 70s, 60s that they're putting out now, even I think some maybe uh, just the 70s, 60s, I believe. Still come with the eight speed transmission when you've got all these other companies, even some of them that are have like a 45 or a 50 horsepower tractor, they're putting a 12 gear transmission in, you know. Uh, in the 76, 60 certainly shouldn't be at the point of still having an eight gear transmission in. I know some of the more models you get into like the, the more model 40A and 50s and 55s, I don't know the numbers now, uh, they change it so often. Uh, you're still looking at a, a eight speed transmission with them, a lot of you still got a clutch to do forward and reverse, uh, those types of things. Whereas some of these other companies, again, going to that power shuttle, not having the clutch. 12 speed, 15 speed, 16 speed transmission. So, you know, they're going to have to do the homework. They're going to have to step up the game. So, some of these companies that's been out there for a while. So, but anyway, that, that's my little rant on Kubota tractors. Again, they need to work on the AC and heat on these tractors. Uh, put some more vents and Spots to make it a little bit more comfortable, uh, especially considering you're making a, a, a new tractor and you're putting out all these new tractors and all that. You at least ought to be, you know, up in the game when it comes to comfort and all that with some of these. And it ain't got to add to your price. I mean, it don't. It ain't gonna add much more. A few plastic holes, cut a holes out. And had to cut plastic fins in the roof. I ain't gonna add a whole lot of price to uh, the cost of the truck. So. But anyway, like I said, that's my rant and the problem I see with Kubota tractors. So, not a good thing. Anyway, moving on to our next spot of Bush Hog, and I'll be back with you in a minute. destination. A little bit to go around this pond. Did the majority of it with the big bush hive. Again, can't get on the dam here. What about one swipe back down on across the dam here and I'm good. I'd like to keep it bush hive. Probably should. I know we got people that's trespassing coming on this uh, spot here thinking they're going to catch a fish. 
sad thing is this pond <laughs> this pond ain't got no fish in it it's got a few but it ain't got many so, but you know people they gonna they gonna push the old limit Yeah, it really breathe. Oh, sure. Man, they ain't walking out here with the cotton bells and copperheads and rattlesnakes. No siree. It's not gonna do that, I can tell you. This ain't never stopped. It never stopped this pond. We caught, caught a little fish, few fish from another another pond that we had been put in here, and that's about it. Uh, let those fish spawn and do the stocking for us, I guess you could say. Uh, and otherwise, they never bought any kind of fish and put in here. Who that pipe was here, just not sure where it was at. Little irrigation pipe. Neighbor put in to help do some irrigation. He got a little garden not too far from here. He got a, got a well in it, but he uh, likes to have a backup plan for his garden. people come out here and trespass <laughs> it was funny one day my dad called me and said said somebody had stopped at their house and asked if they could fish in this pond and he said no sir you cannot so don't know there's a whole lot of fish in it he said oh okay he said well i've been fishing in it already like okay after the fact you're gonna you're gonna come and ask after the fact if you can go fishing in somebody's pond and you already been fishing at it that makes that makes a lot of sense anyway sadly that's people for you you know